hours ago, I didn't know that riff at all. I would have looked at it and thought it was in completely impossible. And Matea Sasato is this just monster of a player that everything's so fluid, everything's so smooth, and you think, wow, if I can only play like that, but I'll never be able to play like that. But, yeah, I can't play all of his songs. I can't play that riff perfectly. But in 24 hours, I was able to make that kind of progress. So let's take a look at how to tackle a complex riff like this. So the first thing is tone. You listen to something like that. You want to you want to imitate it as best you can. It's clean, but there's a there's a little bit of of, of an edge to it. Um, and so what I've got here is a mesa kind of sound on uh, on the pod go and. I've got it. I've got it pretty well cranked. If I go to my humbucker here, you see it's a full sound. There's a lot of reverb, and that gives it just these overtones and this rich sort of feeling that uh, it fills the space. You want a lot of reverb to fill the space, especially if you're playing solo. And if you can sound good without reverb, then sound good without reverb. You don't need it. But if you're learning something complex, it's a little bit above your level. Your confidence is going to get boosted the better you sound. And reverb fills that space, that space between notes where you're trying to think what note comes next. So crank the reverb, make it sound good. And what I've done, I've I've got the, the gain, uh, you know, like that. But I go down to the fifth position on the Strat here. And it, it cleans up really nice. But if I dig in... Then uh, you get just a, <laughs> you know a little bit of grit, a little bit of an edge to it. Uh, these are Alnico pickups. This is a cheap Strat uh, that I have replaced. So uh, I paid twenty six dollars for this whole loaded pit guard with Alnico pickups and humbucker in the bridge position here. So you don't need a three thousand dollars Sir guitar. You don't need a $3,000 amp uh, to get a decent sound. You just got to know your equipment. Find that, that edge of, of breakup uh, point with your gain. And, you know, if you go to the fourth position, uh, it's just a really kind of sweet spot. You get the highs. Uh, you get, also get the lows, and it just really fills in those spaces. Now, when it comes to learning the riff itself, uh, really... It helps to have a tab. So I went and looked up on YouTube transcriptions of Matthias Asado, and there are tons of them out there. And, you know, this particular one, you could download the PDF. You have to pay like a dollar or something. And, and that helps. But what really makes a difference is looking at the original Matthias Asado video. You've got the tab. You've got the original. And you want to tackle it one manageable piece at a time. You don't want to just try to start playing the entire song. You want to tackle one small piece. So just the opening part. Uh, you you want to get those small pieces right. Your confidence is going to start to build. I mean, that's not hard at all. And then... Now, the ornaments are what really makes it a big difference there. So this is all based around uh, the root note of, of an A and I'm bending it half a step. I'm coming back, play it again. And if you're going to get the Masato, uh, <laughs> Mateus Asato uh, style down, then what you have to do is add those little ornaments at the end of the phrase. You want to have enough pick attack or finger attack uh, to, to do that. So I'm sliding up, come back, and then pull off. And uh, listen to his phrasing. Look at it. Listen to that phrasing. You want to get that right before you move on to the next passage. Now, when it comes to a really long run, uh, now this, this next part, really fun. I love it. Uh, It's pretty simple. 
But you're doing a whole lot in a short amount of time, and you're not picking all that. It's a, it's legato. You're really, I mean, you've got a slide and a slide into some more ornaments. So like that whole thing there. But, I mean, I'm only picking one time, and I'm sliding the rest. So you got to have some energy in your slides. And you got to know where you're going. That takes a while. So look at the original and utilize on YouTube the, the slow it down feature. There's a little gear wheel in the bottom right corner and you can really uh, slow it down to like 0.25% and uh, see the, the fingering there because the tab just has a ton of numbers and you're like, ah, what am I doing? But really, you use one finger for that whole thing. Well, it's a, that third finger moves, but going from here down to here, that's and still having some energy left takes some, some getting used to, and and you know you get that little flick. So break it down. Uh, into small manageable pieces slow it down on the video and you know you're not going to get the whole song in an hour or or two unless you're some kind of genius yourself but it's worth trying it's worth boosting your confidence even if you're you know a beginning intermediate uh, kind of player the sort of mid intermediate somewhere in there if uh, if you like it if you like the song right then it's worth the effort but you know don't tackle the whole thing and try to you know get it mechanically right uh, but you lose some of the soul you, you can't just plow through the tab you got to get the phrasing right and where is the emphasis coming I mean, I just, I love that. I can play that over and over and over. And I just learned it uh, 24 hours ago. But it's, it took a couple hours of just sounding horrible. Uh, it took a little while of finding that tone. And then it really started to open up for me there. So, hey, give it a shot. <laughs> and... If I've helped you out in any way, if you've made it this far in the video, uh, leave me a like and a comment. Uh, let me know what video you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Keep playing.